This is my MacBook Pro SSD drive upgrade. First create a USB recovery disk with the recovery disk assistant. Download the file. Click on the file to run it. Select your USB stick. Enter your password. Once it's installed, we move to the next stage. Second run the time capsule back up one more time. Be sure to have everything backed up. Third, start the operation. This is the driver I used. I'm sure it has a good tip, USB stick, and my new drive. Very fast. I start by removing the black plate by removing the screws to it. Be careful not to strip anything. This is how I sorted them. Makes it a little easier for replacement. I used a couple flat heads to pry up the back plate. I noticed it's a bit dusty, so I take my air compressor and blow off all the dust. Be careful, do not use a vacuum. You don't want to create a static charge. Next, I remove the rail to the hard drive. I carefully remove the hard drive by pulling on the tab. Mess with the south rail for some reason. Carefully remove the connector to the hard drive to completely remove the old disk drive. Next, I need to change out the screws from the old to the new hard drive. But I didn't have the right driver, so I resorted to pliers. I moved the tab and put it on the new drive. Next, I get to put the new drive in, replace, put the connector in, slide it into its slot, replace the rail. Be careful not to jab your driver by pushing in on the circuit board. I like to date my drives. Next, I replace the black back plate. I carefully, I'm careful not to tighten the screws too tight the first time around. Fourth, begin the recovery from the USB disk. Start the computer with the USB disk. Hold down Command R. Choose OS X Utilities. So you choose the Restore from Time Machine or Store, Restore the computer. Restore your system. I select the source as the time capsule. I enter the password to the time capsule. Next, I format the hard drive by selecting Disk Utility. I select Mac OS X Extended and uh, be sure to erase it or format it. I also enter the hard drive name that it was originally given to me, Macintosh HD. I select the latest backup to restore. For the recovery of the hard drive, I select the destination of the new hard drive, bypass the warning, and nine or so hours later, I have a fast computer. Thanks for watching.